Good afternoon. My name is Kevin Kilgallen, and this is uh, the last uh, booth for us to visit on this uh, day at EFAB or EFAB Expo. I hope it's been a great day for everybody, a lot of good ideas to help grow your business. Um, our next uh, booth that we're going to visit is with AIDA America. And AIDA manufactures stamping presses. And if you are currently processing metal on uh, lasers or plasmas or CNC uh, punch presses, you might want to consider hard tooling something to really up your volumes and uh, reduce your overall uh, costs. AIDA uh, manufactures presses in uh, Dayton, Ohio. Uh, they have, uh, it, they're the world leader in servo press technology, which uh, George will certainly go into. Uh, but at this time, I want to uh, thank everybody for attending. If you have any interest in our swag, whether it is uh, our camo hat or one of our really cool shirts, making manufacturing strong, certainly uh, reach out to us, and uh, we'll be glad to send that over to you. So this time, uh, we'll turn the presentation over to uh, AIDA America. Thank you. Thank you, George. You bet, Kevin. Thanks. Thanks for the inter intro. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us. This is our first experience on uh, one of these uh, casts, and uh, we appreciate you all taking time to, uh, to visit. So as Kevin mentioned, AIDA is uh, one of the world leaders in metal forming technology. Uh, we're 103 years old and going strong. Uh, some of the newer technology that uh, we've introduced here in the last 20 years has been the servo technology, and that's for small gap frame presses, small straight side, even up to 3,500 ton presses. Um, this technology is especially effective for parts per minute production and also for those challenging parts in the aerospace and the medical and some of the automotive high strength materials, even in stainlesses and appliances. So um, we're gonna give you a good introduction of, of a lot of different product, uh, mostly the gaps, the small straight side, and then medium to large size straight side. So we look forward to uh, you absorbing it. Certainly ask any questions. It's, it's again, a lot of new technology. Uh, the tooling might change a little bit. Uh, your processes might change a little bit, uh, but the main thing is that you're increasing accuracy, dimensional accuracies and productivity uh, for your company. So. Um, Kara and Chris, if you want to start the... Uh... Fully in Dayton, Ohio, with the Greenfield plant in 1997. And this is our low bay area where we house our showroom. You can do dye trial. You ship you us a die and we will uh, hit some parts to show you what servo technology can do for you. This area here that we're seeing is the sub assembly for major components of smaller presses. And then we have extensive rebuilding and remanufacturing here at our facility, including updating and control. We do complete work here. We do welding of our presses, 800 tons and larger including uh, painting, horizontal boring, big Miller planers. Again, accuracy is everything that you need to have built into a machine. Without an accurate component, you're not going to have an accurate machine. We've got several demo presses, again, 630 ton, and now you're looking at our large assembly bay. All machines are put together and run tested here on our floor for your acceptance and then shipment for installation. Might mention that we have over 
35 mechanical and electrical engineers that did the design of this 2000 ton press that you're seeing being assembled here, which the crown weighs over 400,000 pounds by itself. So your support staff and application staff are all here in Dayton, Ohio. And the uh, next uh, area that we're going to uh, step into is our small gap frame presses. Uh, we make them in mechanical, single point and two point presses. And we also make them in servo drive technology. Servo drive is technology where we remove the flywheel clutch brake and we put a servo motor onto the uh, pinion. So that's a direct drive. And uh, we're going to see here uh, some of that technology and some of the flexibility servo gap presses can, can uh, help you with in your applications. So if we can start. This is our next generation servo motor, second generation. And as you could see, it has big increases in more productivity gains. the press projects. I've been working with AIDA for a little over two years now. I will be demoing our 110 ton gap frame style servo press. It features AIDA's new and exclusive Allen Bradley uh, control for the small servo press. The control features a 12 inch color HMI screen, uh, Allen Bradley motion controller, Allen Bradley guard logic safety controller, and Allen Bradley compact logic PLC. It works seamlessly with other Allen Bradley equipment, such as feeders, transfers, and conveyors. The new design features a upgraded servo motor that is five to 10% faster. Our new aluminum extruded side guards that make it easy to see into the die space, as well as can be easily modified at the customer's site. The design has our new electronic overload protection system that actively monitors the torque applied through the entire stroke of the press. Included with the control is eight channels of PLS, upgradable to 24, eight channels of die protection, upgradable to 16, also included is 200 job recipe. And it features our OptiTouch run buttons on the side of the HMI. The run buttons are no longer on a T-stand. In the control, I've loaded our crank motion program, which mimics a mechanical press. The slide will run at 100% of the velocity through the entire stroke. I've now loaded up our silent blanking program, which will slow down towards the bottom of the stroke 
In this case, at 20 millimeters above bottom dead center, we'll slow down to 10% of the velocity to reduce the impact uh, on the material. In this case, we're seeing a reduced forward and reverse tonnage due to the uh, reduced impact. Uh, we can also improve our part quality uh, through this slowdown. Now I've loaded up our pendulum mode where the slide will reverse direction mid-stroke and not go all the way through top dead center. This will help improve our parts per minute. So with this program, we're running at 70 SPM, but we're seeing a parts per minute of 121 because we're not spending the extra time to go through top dead center. Next, I'll load up our multi-strike program. In this program, we're gonna go through bottom dead center three times. You'll see here, we go one millimeter past bottom dead center, then reverse and go through bottom again. I then go one millimeter up, and again reverse, uh, so go through the bottom dead center a total of three times. And again, this is to help reduce spring back of the material. Next is our draw repeat program where we reverse the slide multiple times on the downstroke. We stay engaged with the material when we're reversing, and this allows you to do a deeper drawn part on a uh, lower tonnage press. By reversing, we give the capacitor bank additional time to recharge and maintain the uh, energy it needs for the full stroke. Okay, thank you. <coughs> that was a, a nice presentation. So we're gonna move on to a, a demonstration here that you might see at uh, uh, a true show, not so much virtual, but here we are. This is some HSLA material in a 200 ton uh, servo gap frame press. And uh, you can see that this is a crank type motion press running at a 100% uh, velocity setting. So a perfect sine wave, as we all know it. Most people have this in their shop today. And there it is, our, our base speed is 50 strokes a minute and our cycle count is 50 parts a minute. So pretty good pop. Everybody's pretty familiar with uh, that noise in a press room. And we can see we have a nice forward tonnage of 114 and a reverse tonnage of about nine tons. So the servo technology allows us to program for some flex motion. And what we're gonna do is go to the silent blanking where six millimeters above bottom, we're gonna go to 10% of press speed. So 50 strokes a minute, we're gonna decrease that to five strokes a minute at impact. And you can see in the green line there how it flattens out and stays. It takes a longer time element. So the impact of that, because it takes longer, is our base speed of 50 gets us a cycle speed of 25. Ah, but what does what just happened? We see the crank noise, shock and vibration at 104 and a half tons. 
versus our previous 114. So a forward tonnage reduction of 8%, which is fairly substantial. Look at our reverse tonnage. It's down to minus 2.6 or 72% reduction. Very, very significant. We all know what shock and vibration can do to a press and to a tool. It's really quite amazing, guys. If you ever, ever have a chance to see one of our demonstrations or come to AIDA, it would be fantastic. There's the flex motion. Now, some of you might think, hey, we're just doing blanking at the bottom. Why are we wasting all that extra time in the full rotation? I thought there was a little bit more to that, but I guess we're in good shape. So some interesting uh, opportunities and some differences in uh, servo presses versus the mechanical presses that you're used to. Uh, it can help with a lot of your issues uh, in your tooling, uh, in your part manufacturing, in the quality of your part, in the dimensions of your part. And uh, yeah, we hope that uh, if you have questions, you can uh, get together with us uh, afterwards or a later time to uh, talk about it. So uh, I think we have another another uh, video a couple of uh, in plants customers that have servo technology i'm sorry you can go ahead and roll that one that'll show them some uh, advantages of the uh, so here's that silent blanking that we just saw we're going over the top we're eliminating shock and vibration so there's a little bit of a decrease in productivity. But look at what happens here with a rapid restrike. That's to handle spring back in stainless steels or other materials. Here's the pendulum motion. Look at this. The recipe speed is 35, but our cycle speed is 104. In silent pendulum motion, we, we get a little bit more increase than if we're going all the way over the top. So you can see the comparison of all these together, the different slide motions. Again, the first one on the left is a conventional 360 degree constant speed, no change in velocities. And we all know that changing in velocities helps us Changing in forming velocities helps us with part quality and dimensional stability. Notice that pendulum motion that people have 104 parts coming off on a press speed of 35 uh, parts per minute. You can see how quickly. This is a nice customer that has a 200 ton servo press. We're going to do a comparison of a PMX 400 press link drive and a servo press. So we have a very nice partnership with uh, Pinnacle. And they were nice enough to let us in and share their technology and some of their their gains in uh, process and how they do things. So an eight inch press stroke, 360 degree rotation all the time. Production speeds, 35 strokes a minute, 4% is scrap, unfortunately course. Behind it is the 200 and 300 ton servo presses that they purchased uh, after the PMX. So 
So the servo press is set up in a pendulum motion with a press stroke of almost two inches. And their production speeds are 50 parts a minute. So here's the comparison if you can see it quick. Eight inch to two inch stroke, production speed 35 to 50, and the scrap rate was reduced. If you look at the little hour clock in the upper right, you can see that they're only using half the press stroke. And they're also using a slowdown during the forming of that. So um, they're getting the benefit of higher productivity, but also lower forming velocities for the materials, which helps for accuracy, reduces heat. It's a nice form part fairly complex and critical dimensions, of course. Press speed here is set at 30 strokes a minute and his cycle rate is 39. And you can see he runs basically 90 degrees to uh, 270 degrees. And the speed changes, you know, maybe one inch up above bottom, the height of the uh, round draw or form. Fantastic success story for that customer. I might mention that from those two, uh, 200 and 300, the customer just purchased a thousand ton servo press. So he now has three in the past uh, five years. That's the type of growth he's seen. This is another great story. This is Piper Tool and Engineering. And you can see they too are using that pendulum motion. So we call this our crank motion, 360 degree rotation, just like every conventional press that you have in your facility. Constant speed. Now, this is pendulum motion. This is, you know, a great way to help out your shop. Again, he set at the maximum of 35 strokes a minute, but look at his cycle rate. It was 69 parts a minute, almost double. Aida has a full staff here in Dayton, Ohio to help you with your production and productivity. Here we can see another productivity gain. There's really limitless opportunities to make parts more accurately and faster. I've got uh, several customers, one in particular, 
who said for every die that he has that he puts into his new servo press, he hopes to reduce the forming velocities by 50% and increase his productivity by 100%. And he, he hits those marks all the time, so much so that his, his owner has allowed him to buy three more servo presses. This is a wonderful feature. This is our um, step feed mechanism for die setup, die tool development. We can cycle this press down and form a part at full press tonnage at one stroke a minute. We can come down and kiss the material, go into it at 1,000, 5,000 quarter inch in and back out before completing the part and see what is actually going on or what is about to go on in the, in the manufacture of the part. The also eliminates the inching of setup and the press getting stuck on the bottom or even worse, die damage. Fascinating stuff, it's, it's so cool. You do have to have a feeder to be able to move uh, your stock through there because you're using less time because of the increase in productivity. But there's two examples of uh, customers that uh, have really embraced and excelled uh, with the experience of servo technology. Well, George, thank you for uh, walking us through those demos. Um, those customer stories were just so interesting and uh, really a uh, good painted a good picture of how, you know, with AIDA you can be more accurate, um, produce faster and increase productivity. So um, we are going to uh, now open this portion up to question and answer. Um, so the first question from one of our viewers here uh, is actually, uh, well, we're having a little technical difficulty. Um, let me just switch back to you. So the first question is, um, what is the number one reason to invest in servo technology? Well, uh, you know, there, there's several reasons to, uh, to get into it. And, uh, you know, depending on your product, I mean, the, the servo technology doesn't fit for everybody, but certainly it helps in uh, increase in parts per minute. You know, that's, that's right off the top. That helps your ROI. Uh, we have people that are, you know, paying off presses in less than a year's time just by productivity gains. Uh, the other thing we get is uh, part quality, uh, dimensional, uh, embossing, uh, edge quality, spring back. Uh, because we can control the velocities so easily anywhere in the stroke, uh, all those uh, factors start to improve and, and word gets around and you're going to get more customers. So, so that's always a, a great, great help. Uh, there's less maintenance. You know, on a mechanical press, you'll have flywheels and flywheel bearings. You'll have clutch and brake parts that are wearing. And when those go down, you know, it's a teardown to get into the machines. The servo press has no clutch, uh, has no flywheel, has you know, no flywheel bearings. Uh, it's just a servo motor that AIDA builds themselves. Uh, so we have full control over that. Uh, so that's a great scenario. Um, what else do we have? Sometimes a lot of people do secondary operations under the RAM that they do separately in a different location. Uh, there might be nut insertion. Uh, we can do that under the RAM on the fly uh, because we can time and slow down and and make things happen. We can do assemblies underneath. Uh, we do in-die tapping uh, with servo technology. Uh, we can control a constant velocity when that's happening. So there's there's several things uh, that are exciting. And if you would like to, you know, for us to come visit you and even discuss in more detail and understand your application, we're, we'd be thrilled to do that. Yeah, almost seems limitless in the, uh, you know, ideas of what you can do with the uh, with the um, servo oh, press. Absolutely. It absolutely it is. Well, great. Well, we have the next question coming through now. 
Can we use existing, existing tooling and coil equipment with a servo press? Great question, great question. And, and the answer to that is absolutely. We saw in the video that we had the crank motion. So all presses running crank motion today in the JetLink drive. Uh, you can take that die and you can put it into the servo press and we will run at the speed that you were running. And in less than two minutes, we can program uh, changes in the control in the profile and we will see increases in the uh, uh, productivity in the game. And as far as your coil equipment, well, equipment can be interfaced right into the press as well. So uh, that'll all fit right in. Many times people buy uh, the servo press, whether it's a gap or a small straight side, and they might retire two or three other presses. They'll take their feeding equipment and put it on their best piece of feeding equipment, put it on the servo press. So we're here to help you with that as well. And of course, Mid Atlantic uh, has several servo installations in their territory. Great. Well, it, it looks like that's kind of all the time we have today. George uh, and Aida, we do want to thank you on behalf of Mid-Atlantic Machinery, Southern States Watch Machinery, Northeast time. Machinery, Sales. Um, if we didn't get to your question, please leave those in the chat, and we'll get those over to George to field those um, uh, after the show. Uh, really appreciate everyone tuning in for the first day. Tomorrow, we begin at 10 a.m. with Finish Line. So if you haven't already, head over to the website and sign up. Uh, again, thank you, George, uh, for taking the time to join us. Hey, you bet. It was great fun, folks. Everybody uh, be safe, and uh, hopefully we'll visit you soon. Yep, absolutely. Have a good one. Bye, everyone. All right, cheers. Bye.